you've just said, you know, Philadelphia police, they are not saying anything about this case. They are very tight lipped and certainly no one in that neighborhood is talking. But I did talk to people who are experts in organized crime and they gave me an inside look at those they call mobsters. How's all the characteristic of a mob hit? It went down in mid-afternoon yesterday on a quiet street in South Philly. 50-year-old Gino DiPietro, a man organized crime experts say was a mob associate, is shot to death. Retired Philly cop Frank Friel headed up the department's organized crime unit in the 80s until 1990. He says he investigated dozens of mob killings. But people here have come to expect that there's bodies in the street and the mob is responsible. Police say no one has been charged in the shooting and cops haven't released a motive. Someone told me we shot five times. There's as many motives as there was bullets fired. The motives may be many, but police seem focused on one man right now, Anthony Nicodemo. Police took Nicodemo into custody shortly after the alleged mob hit. They served the warrant on his South Philly home, and detectives were back at his home today. Veteran crime reporter George Anastasia says Nicodemo is a well-known mob associate and suspected of past violence. The other interesting thing in all of this happened is that uh, Anthony Nicodemo, who's been picked up and again not charged, has been identified as a suspect in one of the unsolved mob murders that sits out there. Now coming up at five, we're going to take a look at how this alleged mob hit may have an impact on the trial of a reputed mob boss. That's coming up at five o'clock. He's in trial right now. I'll have that for you then. Reporting live at police headquarters, Harry Harrison, NBC 10 News.